We don't have a tripod, so we're using our mailbox. We're on like 10%, so I gotta hurry up. First thing do in the box. If you're doing that, grab your drone, set that to the side. Sometimes stuff gets inside the back, so I kind of check it. Um, obviously, you'd want to do this during the day. You really don't want to fly at night. I mean, if you can avoid it, I would, just because it's a little bit harder. Then you're going to have your props. You're going to have two gray ones, and you're going to have two black ones. It's really easy. So the gray ones go on the slotted points where it's uh, there's no marker on it. And um, basically, I like to turn mine clockwise, and then I push down and find the direction that it's going. So if I push down and I go left and it's not clicking in, or you don't feel like it's locking, then you go the other way. Grab the other ones. I like to make sure I have room to spin the prop all the way around and I find the direction. So the gray ones go clockwise. And I spin these on and these are gonna lock counterclockwise and you'll feel it click in. Boom, so then I kind of grab the motor. When I grab it, I'm also turning the prop just a little bit just to make sure that it's locked in. There's no loose ends. Then you're gonna grab your battery, make sure it's not swollen. Kind of feel it, you can tell if it's swollen. Check the charge. So it's pretty much fully charged. You're gonna put that in with the battery. It's very easy. Oh man, you guys can't really see. You take the battery with the drone camera facing that way forward. We're gonna take the battery, slide it in with the icon on the right side of the drone. Push that in, make sure that's in really good. Because if that thing falls out, you are screwed. Also, if you didn't know this, the bag is made to clean the camera. So you put your hand in or whatever. Usually put my props back. I lift up find the camera and I like to kind of wipe the lens off on it just to make sure it's clean and I'll probably clean that lens later and wash my little baggie throw that back in there then you're gonna drive a transmitter this part's easy pull these out I kind of turn them you don't have to move them but you can if you think you need to so it should look something like that Okay. Then uh, this one has the screen on it, so it's very simple. Press once, pressing again. Now, this part is pretty important. You always want to turn on your transmitter before you turn on your drone. That's general for any RC equipment you have, whether it's a boat or um, just a, a Traxxas vehicle. Any of them, you want to always turn on your transmitter in the event that you turn this thing on and it gets a connection to something you may not want. Then after that, you're gonna find a location to put the drone. So I just kind of grab it carefully. And because I want it to land, if uh, it's an emergency land, I want it to be clear of obstructions. So I'm looking up here, I'm gonna smoke something. Uh, look up there's no trees here so we're gonna put the drone right there it's gonna be kind of quick because if car comes around we do not want our drone to be hit my oh, not the weed tonight it's probably over there all right once you have it like this you can just set the, the rc to the left and what you're gonna do is make sure your plastic gimbal mounts off to press and hold the press once press and hold camera's gonna turn on you might see the props move next you're gonna go let this thing kind of sync up it's gonna say connected and uh, because this phone probably has its uh, cellular on it's gonna interfere so we're probably gonna check that also your obstacle avoidance may not work right because there's not enough light so just know don't really fly so reckless because the drone's 
sensors may not be as um, active as they would normal. Once this is ready to go GPS, you can fly. But before doing that, I always, always hit home point settings. If you thought this video has been helpful for you, then I'd really appreciate you commenting, liking, and subscribing. Really just liking and subscribing. You don't have to comment. Um, that would really help support the channel. And if you're also wondering what the heck is up with this video, why is the quality in the intro suck, and then halfway in the video, and then towards the end, it's better, and then at the end it sucks again, Okay, well here's the problem, and, and take some notes because this is what happens. Um, I was using this camera to film, and I wasn't thinking that this camera is not as good as this camera. So I used this one to film the intro, and then towards the, the part two of the second one, we used this one. So, lesson learned, don't do that, use the good camera, and also, this is the 14, but we should have gotten the 14 Pro because this has only two and uh, you know, we should probably have gotten the one with three cameras. Maybe you shoot better. Who knows? I don't know much about Apple, but uh, if you guys like this video, please throw a like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And let's get back to the video. May need one. There we go. And then I hit set aircraft positioned as the home point and it will be set to the aircraft's current home position when they return to home bro what is up with our camera it's like it just keep, doesn't focus when the return to home is initiated we'll re return to this point at minimum altitude of 94 feet or 98 feet according to your settings so then i hit okay so that's basically saying hey the drone's gonna come back bro this camera sucks the drone's gonna come back and and land at this position that I'm setting right now through the GPS. If you're really concerned about the drone um, not landing right or missing it, you can always do precision takeoff. And that basically is saying um, the drone's gonna go about 20 feet. It takes pictures of the ground. This allows the aircraft to return to home quite more accurately. And what that's saying is there's pictures under here under there it's uh, right there those two black things right there and uh, that's the vision positioning system and so what that does is it actually takes pictures of the ground um, so that the drone knows where to land now of course you know you can take over the flight when it gets close and land it yourself for me personally I don't ever really use return to home um, unless I take the drone far out of sight and I'm concerned that I need to get it back uh, these drones are very intelligent and it also saves enough battery power to return to home so that it doesn't fall out of the sky uh, Very cool stuff like that um, The other battery we have is swollen so we're not using that for this one. I'm not gonna do precision There's different types of takeoffs. You have about three you can do a manual where you pull the stick center You can press this and slide it and it'll go about 3.9 feet or you can hit precision takeoff Guys, I'm really sorry about my camera need to get a GoPro again um, and do precision. Precision is really nice if you're a beginner uh, pilot. For me, let's go ahead and try the um, sticks. So you pull center, blow some of the leaves. If you don't do anything, it will shut off. Um, and then also if you want to stop it, so you don't want to do that, you'll just do pull down. And that will do that. Ooh, God, don't hit it. Don't hit it! Okay, good. <laughs> so now, let's go ahead and actually do a um, quick hover. And man, I need to get a tripod. So back to the good old RC days where we didn't have much equipment and we still don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the normal one and just hit slide. <laughs> So it only goes about like four feet up. Um, also some things before flying is you want to make sure if you're on the, your right stick here is pushed all the way to the right. Um, so we're going to kind of move it out of the way. It's, the drone is kind of loud. Um, we need to get our noise canceling props. But basically this stick right here is your P mode and that stands for position. The next mode is sport mode. Apologize, you guys can't see. 
Okay. P, S, and A. P is position, S is sport, and A is Addy. So if you put it on Addy, it's going to take off the positioning system. And that means the, the drone will just kind of go wherever um, the wind blows it. On this mode right here, the drone is not going to move. It's GPS locked in to where it's supposed to be. Um, so everything's pretty good. It has about 30 minutes of power in the sky. So over here, you we have it on the video. On this, we got it on the camera. The video is going to film a lot better. Um, the camera doesn't really do too good at night. You need more light. Um, over here, you have different type of smart settings you can do your normal because that's what we have right now you have draw you have gesture um active track tap fly tripod so my favorite one is actually the gesture one and then the active track because there's so many trees with where i'm at right now we're gonna turn on this brightness see if that helps no it doesn't really help that much um because there's so many trees with where i'm flying i don't really like to Turn on any of this intelligent flight modes just because there's just too much crap in the way like those branches um actually the roofing guy that was over here a while ago he took his phantom right there and this is back in when the phantom 4 just came out and he crashed it right on the roof and man that drone was um, pretty messed up he was trying to take pictures of our roof and he was showing the new technology the phantoms could do that was about 20 um 2016 2017 that happened so I was about 15 years old and 20 years old now, so about five years ago. Um, so yeah, I mean, from the Phantom 4, um, five years ago to now, it is, you know, still called the P4, but it's definitely a lot better because of the technology put into it. The, um, the drone's very stable. Okay, on the camera it's showing, that's weird. On the video it's showing something flying around it. Maybe it is showing that, okay. And then you move the camera, it goes away. And then it's back. That's really weird. So anyways, um, five years ago then to now, the um, the drone has came in with a lot of upgrades. Not to mention the new systems they're using. They're using Lightbridge now. Um, you have different buttons on here. This is how you move your camera, right, with the gimbal. This is how you record. Down here, you can customize. They've already had this on before. But you have custom buttons, so if I want to shoot the camera straight down, I can. If I want to, uh, well, I forgot what that one does, but that one does something else too. A lot of cool stuff. Um, there's so much more in depth we can go through on the controller, and uh, we'll probably do it in another video. But this is really just a quick start guide on how to actually fly, how to get your drone set up in the sky. From there, um, I recommend you guys just practice maneuvering in beginner mode. This um, mode I'm in right now is just normal P mode. So if you turn left on the RC, it's gonna turn counterclockwise on the yaw. Right. Your front, your, uh, the one thing that's nice about the Phantom is you always know if it's um, back or front because the battery is the back and the red is the front. So it's really easy to distinguish what direction it's facing in the sky. As, whereas other drones, they don't. They're all mixed up. They have all these blinky lights and you don't know which direction is front to back. So now we are facing ourselves and you can just see how great the camera really is. Um, obviously I'm filming with a uh, iPhone right now so you're not really getting the drone's perspective. Um, on here, you also can turn on if you wanna film with the video the uh, audio or you could turn it off most people would probably turn it off because they want to put their own music over it and it may take up less memory um, then on your right stick pushing forward the drone go forward backward will go backwards left right it'll go left or right and then um, diagonal in any direction so that's pretty much that um, the left stick is how you go up and down and how you turn the drone in the air so it's very good to practice. Um, a lot of things that they'll tell you to, to practice is how to fly inverted, which uh, inverted basically means where the drone is facing you. So you're practicing the sticks and they'll be reversed. Um, right is left, left is right. 
and stuff like that. So you really want to practice all directions and really learn your drone, um, especially if you're going to be using this for professional use, as in real estate, as we will, and um, or in roof inspections. Before I can really do anything with real estate, I have to get my Part 107 license, which is the next goal. Um, you don't want to be flying this thing around without it if you're using it for um, business use. So as you can see in P mode, the drone is very stable. And if we want, we can switch it to um, sport mode. So it'll also let you know. Now this is Addy mode. And it'll say flight mode set to al altitude or attitude, whatever it's called. And that basically means the drone is going to just do, it's gonna go wherever, it has no position. It will stay up relatively, but on the X, oh, now it's moving. So we just moved it back. It was starting to kind of drift. So we're gonna go ahead and move it out of the way because it's kind of loud and they're probably annoying the neighbors. And uh, at this point, we'll probably cut the video. So uh, last thing I'll show you guys how the gimbal, when you pull to the left on the rolling stick, that basically means I'm pulling to the left, the camera's gonna aim down. And when I push it to the right, the camera's gonna look up. And it can go up quite a bit. And then down, it will go all the way down. Also, my custom button will push it straight down. So if I wanna go straight down, I can just hit the button and hit it back and it goes straight back up. So that can be really useful when you wanna get some down shots and you don't wanna to have to wait for the roller thing to go down. You can just click the button and it'll shoot it straight down. Um, if we fly out of our bounds, the drone will automatically come back. We also have our smart setting to um, have the drone come back. If it's running out of power, it will calculate how much battery it needs to come back and land itself. So you can't go wrong with a DJI if you guys are looking for a great drone and you don't want to mess around with having to go through the misery of buying drones, crashing them, losing them because of not having RTH and all that good stuff. Um, you should get a DJI. If you're new, you're a teenager, you want to get a drone for fun, you may look at the SEMA X5C. We have that on our YouTube channel. It's a pretty old video, but it's still a great drone if they have it in production. If you're someone who's trying to do real estate, photography, videography, you may look into getting a Phantom or a Mavic. If you're on a budget, I recommend getting a Mavic. And if you're um, somebody that's really just trying to get a great drone that's gonna last a while, go ahead and get a Phantom. The, I believe the P5 should be coming out pretty soon. Oh, I think they're missing some, they're waiting on some parts or something. Um, and then they'll probably build that stuff again. So let me guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down if you have any updates or what you do with your Phantom. We would love to hear it. And uh, like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. You guys see how stable that thing is? It's freezing out here and it's still flying good. So the battery's kind of low. We're gonna go ahead and hook it up on the charger and we're gonna balance out the cells and probably do that to the other one. The other one we're gonna send in for DJI. It's screwed up.